Good morning, Coaster Spotters, and welcome back to Prosper Town Lake for another update of Jersey Devil Coaster at Six Flags Great Adventure. This is construction update number 11, and it is April 1st, 2020. Let's go ahead and take the drone over and take a closer look at that wonderful airtime hill and all the other track that's been placed since our last update. <laughs> All right, a lot has happened in the last six days since our last update, but let's first take a look at the comparison to the rendering. And up we go, and we'll point out a lot of things that have been going on aside from all that track work. All right, first things first, we can see the two trenches that were dug out for our last update have begun to be filled in. Some people were confused which little building I was talking about. I was talking about the little tiny building below the left hill, not the restroom to the left of it. So looks like that installation is pretty much complete. To the right of that restroom though, you can see that the midway and what was originally like a pedal car ride, and then they took it out and put a uh, direct pathway to the restroom in and anyways yeah that was all demolished this past week now if we look at the bottom of the screen underneath that structure for the turnaround you can see the train storage building seems like the foundation below ground is now finished and now it seems they have placed concrete forms to pour a wall that goes a few feet above the ground similar to what joker has for its train storage buildings and a little extension to the left of the track storage area has been built not sure what that little extension to the left will be still going with the little extension on the right will be the rides plc the controller for the entire ride now as we pan to the left you can see that i believe Every single track piece has been brought over. There are 55 pieces of track. As you can see right here, they are starting to install the next element, which is the zero G stall. And right to the left of it, you can see the little building that I was talking about in the last update. And finally, we're gonna to to talk about the footers. Still the same number, five footers are unoccupied. Oddly enough, if you take a look at the bottom of that airtime hill you can see that the track is just floating in place without their two supports I, I don't even know what to make of that maybe the supports never showed up and they didn't want to wait for them and they can install them later it's not that big of a deal it's a little bit more of a ordeal to deal with And now we're just gonna pan all the way to the left, checking out the entire site as they are still working on installing that track piece. see another track piece at the bottom of the first drop right beside where it's going to be placed also i have seen in photos that i took that a lot more structural components have arrived possibly the transfer track and whatnot and also the stairs up to the block break are visible if you want to see those photos in high resolution check out my twitter and instagram pages links are in the description below Here we go, one final view of all of that track and all that progress. Looks fantastic.
and just a few last views from across the lake of the installation so far. That airtime hill looks like it's going to be ejector as usual for our RMC and that dive loop that looks just absolutely fantastic. It looks like you might get some wicked laterals as you dive into it. And that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Alex. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.